Hi all. In this video, let's discuss about what's the difference between transpiler and the polyfills. So uh, this is a Babel JS. So Babel is a transpiler. If you write this piece of code like this, this is a nullish operator. So if you write a piece of code like this, Babel, a transpiler, which transforms our code into browser understandable code. So it means if the total is not equal to null and total is not equal to undefined, then the total value would be picked. If not, 100 would be picked. So the transpiler means a new feature or a new syntax would be converted into browser understandable code. That's known as a transpiler. So we use, this is the reason we use Babel as a, one of the dependency in our projects. So coming to polyfill. So can I use .com? This is a website where in this website we can search for any topic or a function with the browser compatibility. For example, here the number dot is nan is a function it, which is not supported in IE browser. So this function is not supported in the IE browser. Then how to make this work in the IE browser? So for that, we need to write a piece of code. Polyfill in general mean we are going to write a piece of code which should work in the older browsers. In sense, we have number.nan which will work in the new browsers, but the same may not be worked in the backward compatibility or older browsers. So for that reason, we are uh, now writing a polyfill. It means a piece of code which is going to replace this code because this will not work in the older browser. So now we are checking whether this function is uh, available in the browser or not. So if it is not available, then we are writing an equivalent piece of code so that the code will not break in the older browsers. So this is what the polyfill. We need to write this for all the piece of code which is not supported in the older code. So assume uh, uh, for one function we can write if there are n number of functionality. So we can't write n number of functions like this. So for that reason, we have a couple of packages which supports a polyfill. So one of the famous packages, code.js, this is a polyfill library, which supports all, almost all uh, compatible, older, older browser compatible uh, functionalities. For example, we need to import code.js dependency in our project so that these uh, functions will work as it is in the older browsers as well. So this is the main difference between the polyfill and transpiler. So once again, I just wanted to repeat that. So for the new functionality or a new syntax to work in the older browsers, we, we are going to use transpiler. So the most you know, famous transpiler is Babel, which will convert this new feature or functionality syntax into browser understandable feature. So this is about transpiler, whereas coming to the polyfill, so we have number.nan, which will not work in the older browsers. So for that, we are trying to write a function, equivalent function. So that is a polyfill. So this is the main difference between the transpiler and the polyfill. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching.